Hello and welcome to Simplified Triplet Studies. In this video, I am going to discuss one of the data conversion technique, namely successive approximation. It is one of the technique which you can convert the data which is in the form of analog to the digital form. As you can observe, there are different techniques to convert the analog data into digital data. First one I already mentioned, successive approximation. Second one is flash or parallel encoding. Moving on to the third one, single slope and dual slope integration technique. Fourth one is namely switched capacitors and finally delta sigma techniques. These are the few important techniques which helps to convert one form of data to another form like analog data to digital data. I would like to discuss successive approximation with the help of simple block diagrams. So there are different block diagrams available. Whichever you feel comfortable, go ahead. However, let me explain how the data will be converted from analog form to digital form. As you can observe, this is a block diagram of successive approximation technique. So we require the following components. First of all, we need the sample and whole circuit. The main purpose of sample and whole circuit is to hold the particular signal until the next signal is converted into digital form. That is the purpose of sample and whole circuit. The second one, we require a comparator. You can use operational amplifier, OPAM. LM741 is one of the example. Next, we require successive approximation register. It is also known as SAR. Also, to complete the process in a cyclic fashion, we require digital to analog converter, DAC. It helps to make the process in a uh, cyclic fashion. Digital form to analog form, DAC. So, successive approximation technique includes the following components. One is sample and whole circuit, comparator, a successive approximation register, then digital to analog converter. It maintains the things in a closed loop or a cyclic form. Our ultimate target is to convert the VIN. VIN is an analog form, just like an analog waveform. See, like this. It is an analog waveform into digital form. Digital form in the sense like a 1010 form. That is our target. The analog input will be given to sample and whole circuit. And uh, we can observe this is a non inverting terminal. Correct? correct? Non inverting terminal. Okay. Of operational amplifier. Then the inverting the inverting terminal inverting terminal is fed with the, the output of digital to analog converter in the previous output in the previous state okay so what you are supposed to do is by using a comparator you are going to compare the vin with the previous dac output okay the compared output the differential output the differential output will be given to successive approximation register short form SAR and uh, SAR is activated based on the certain clock pulse we need to provide a certain clock pulse by using any type of crystal oscillator certain clock pulse based on the desired frequency correct also the, this is actually end of conversion just like a flag, you must have heard about flag. Once the process is completed, EOS will be enabled. So using the successive approximation with a certain clock pulse, you will be converting the differential output of the operational amplifier into the digital form. You can observe LSP and MSP. Okay, MSP. You can point out MSB and LSB because every digital data will have most significant bit and least significant bit. So, so you can uh, convert the whatever the 
input, whatever the analog input which you obtain from the different difference of inverting and non-inverting terminal that is going to convert into digital form. Okay. Now the digital form output of this digital output that is going to convert into DAC digital to analog converter and the process will be repeated just like a cyclic process. Correct. No? You can observe it very clearly cyclic form. So the conversion process is still goes on this type of a method of conversion of one form of data into another form of data is known as successive approximation technique. If you are not comfortable with this block diagram, let me show you another block diagram. So any block diagram can be drawn in your exam point of view and for your vibe also. So here you can observe another type of block diagram. So here, what is the major thing? We have analog input. This is our analog input. And uh, the DAC output, digital to analog converter, for the previous state, that is also given here. Then uh, it is a differential, it's a differential amplifier, comparator, or you can call it as a differential amplifier. The difference between the output of DAC and analog input is compared. Then the output, this is your output, output of the comparator, that is given to the logic circuit. So it's a uh, logic circuit, okay one of the combinational circuit then uh, you are going to provide the suitable clock pulse based on that the it will the signal will be given to successive approximation register four bit storage register so we can see each bit one zero 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 like that you can see each bit there is a area okay now based on the output output of this uh, combinational circuit then you can get the digital output such as one one zero zero like that you will be getting the output so the digital output will be again fed to uh, dac digital to analog converter and the process will be repeated like this so it become a closed path i think it is clear to everyone the process will be data conversion process will be uh, moving on so this type of method is known as successive approximation technique Successive means it's a continuous process. Correct. I, I think you got the idea. If you are not comfortable with the previous block diagram, you can check this particular circuit also. So we have the analog input. VIN is the analog input, right? Analog input. So analog input is uh, converted with the, the, uh, the reference input. It is already obtained from the previous state. Then output. What is output? Yes, this is your output. Output of comparator that will be given to the logic circuits. Logic circuit is activated with the help of a, a clock. It may be a counter or whatever it may be. Then the logical output, the logic circuit output is given to SAR. SAR. See, the output of SAR that will be like a digital. 0, 1, 1, 0 like that. It is having LSB and MSB. This will be the digital output. Okay. So what you could do? Uh, you can convert the analog data into digital data. Now the process will be repeated. Again, uh, the reference will be generated from the digital to analog conversion and the closed path will be completed. I think it's clear to all. Now we have to check what are the advantages and disadvantages of successive approximation method or successive approximation type data conversion. The first advantage is speed is high compared to the counter type ADC, of course. Also, good ratio of speed to power. If you take the ratio of speed to power, uh, we'll be getting a superior performance. Design is compact, then high resolution. These are the major advantages of successive approximation technique. It's a continuous process. If I uh, speak about the cons of this method, drawbacks, there are certain drawbacks. It is having a repetitive nature. It's a closed loop. Now it's a repetitive nature. And uh, incorrect reading may be obtained because if the inclusion of noise signal may uh, go may affect the results. Low sampling rates that is another problem. Uh, for if you go for high resolution, sampling rate will be less. Also, uh, limited resolution due to limits of DAC and comparator because these are the extra components DAC and uh, comparator. This DAC will uh, generate the reference signals, correct? No? DAC means a digital to unlock conversion or digital to unlock converter. If you talk about the, if you speak about the device, we call it as a converter. The process is known as conversion. Okay. 
so uh, what i am trying to say is dac uh, then comparator these are the extra components uh, because of these extra components what is the major impact system size becomes very high so system become more bulkier anyway we studied how does uh, the successive approximation um, techniques work and what are the major components we studied about sar then uh, comparator we have studied and the clock pulse all those things we have discussed i think you got a brief idea about successive approximation method and uh, in the coming session i am going to discuss the rest of the methods in brief and precise manner i would like to uh, receive some uh, valuable feedback from your side kindly provide this valuable feedback for my improvement uh, if you if you are pleased with this video kindly share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching this video happy learning